So, you know, as Christians, it's really important what we actually allow to remain in our minds. No, we as Christians cannot sin in our minds. As a matter of fact, nobody can sin in their mind because sin is an action. However, what we allow within our minds does directly impact what we do. We see an example of this over in Romans chapter 8 and verse 5, where Paul says, For the ones that are according to the flesh set their minds on the things of the flesh, but the ones according to the Spirit, the things of the Spirit. Now that according to that he's referring to in the context is how you actually govern your life. So if your mind is set on the things of the flesh, you're going to govern your life according to those things. But if it's set on the things of the spirit, then of course your actions are going to show that. Now a mind that is set on the flesh actually only produces death in our life. And this death, which literally means a separation, is a separation from your ability to live out your Christian life. Oh yeah, the flesh can do things that look good. It can do religious works and other things like that. But those are not true Christianity. True Christianity is living out who you are in Christ. That requires a mind that is set on the things of the Spirit. The things of the Spirit relate to our salvation, who you are in Christ, what God has done. It's not just about the fact that you have been saved. It involves what God has provided for you in salvation. We can actually live a life that truly does glorify God now by taking advantage of what he's actually provided for us. I mean, look at the facts. The fact is, we are no longer bound to the sin nature to obey it. We are actually free to live a life of righteousness. We also, in Christ, have victory over Satan and over the world system. Now, of course, we need to put up the proper defense for these. You need to understand them. For the sin nature, you know, reckon, and yield. You know that you have died and you've been raised to walk in newness of life. In Christ, that is. Count this to be true and yield your members to righteousness rather than unrighteousness. For Satan, you put on the armor of God. For the world system, remember that you are dead to the world system. That is, you're separated from it. So use it, but don't abuse it. The things of the Spirit involve us living out who we are in Christ. It's living out a godly life. It's caring for others in a proper way. Not seeking our own benefit from it, but seeking theirs. It's being content in any situation. That is an expression of joy. It's being at peace where we don't have a ruffled mind. Our mind is not all concerned about the things that relate to the world system or what's going on around us because we're looking at the truth and the reality of things. We know that God is in control and that ultimately, in the end, he will bring our full redemption. So we don't have to be all ruffled up. But that involves focusing on the things of the spirit, not on the things of the flesh. In addition, we can withhold our anger against unreasonable people and have an objectivity of mind that doesn't allow us to be shifted so that we're no longer manifesting who we are in Christ. We can, along with that, be doing the things that are beneficial not only to others, but also for ourselves so we're not bringing calamity into our lives or the lives of anybody else. And we can really focus on having self-control so that the things of the world system don't bring us back under bondage. Now, this all goes back to how we frame our minds. So what are we allowing in our minds? What are we allowing to remain there and to begin to impact us? Are we focusing on the things of the spirit or are we focusing on the things of the flesh? God does not lie. He only tells us the truth. So the things that he tells us about our salvation and what we have in Christ are accurate and true. The question is, are we as Christians going to live by grace, set aside law, and start manifesting righteousness because we're focusing on the things of the Spirit, we're not focusing on the things of the flesh. We're taking God at his word 
and we're living a life that truly does take full advantage of who we are in Christ.